Imagine a world where innovation thrives, businesses flourish, and time is your most precious asset. Welcome busy professionals to a journey of efficiency, growth, and practical wisdom. Today we're delving into the pages of a groundbreaking book that has transformed the way entrepreneurs and established companies approach business. Say hello to The Lean Startup by Eric Ries in the fast-paced, ever-evolving landscape of the business world. The Lean Startup stands as a guiding light. It's not just another book, it's a blueprint for success in the 21st century. Now you might be wondering why this book matters to you. If you're a busy professional juggling work, family, and the pursuit of excellence, this video is tailor-made for you. The Lean Startup offers practical knowledge that can save you time and empower you to make impactful decisions. So if you're ready to embark on this transformative journey, let's dive into the world of the Lean Startup and uncover the secrets to efficient innovation and sustainable growth. Chapter 1. Start. In the fast-paced and ever-evolving landscape of the business world, one thing is clear. Starting small and iterating is key to success. The Lean Startup emphasizes the importance of this approach, instead of sinking vast resources into a grand, untested idea. Eric Ries advocates for a more pragmatic path. Begin with a modest step, a simple prototype, and evolve from there. This approach minimizes risk, conserves resources, and accelerates progress. A cornerstone concept in the Lean Startup is the Minimum Viable Product, or MVP for short. This isn't about launching a perfect feature-packed product from the get-go. Instead, it's about creating the simplest version of your idea that delivers value to your customers. Why? Because an MVP allows you to test your assumptions, gather valuable feedback, and adapt swiftly. It's a practical way to validate your ideas without betting the farm. In the world of the lean startup, learning is not theoretical, it's validated. It's about conducting experiments, gathering data, and making informed decisions based on real-world results. By embracing validated learning, you continuously refine your product, your strategies, and your business model. It's an iterative process that hones your vision and ensures you're on the right path. So, there you have it. Chapter 1 of The Lean Startup. Starting small, iterating MVPs and validated learning are the building blocks of a successful journey in the world of entrepreneurship. Stay tuned for more insights as we explore this transformative book. Chapter 2. Define. In the world of entrepreneurship, defining a clear vision and mission for your startup is akin to setting the North Star for your journey. It's not just about having a great idea, it's about knowing where you want to go and why you want to get there. Imagine you're the captain of a ship embarking on a voyage. Without a clear destination and purpose, you're adrift in uncertain waters. Similarly, startups without a well-defined vision and mission may find themselves lost in a sea of uncertainty. A clear vision defines what you want to achieve in the long run, while the mission outlines how you'll get there. It acts as a guiding force aligning your team, your strategies, and your actions towards a common goal. Now here's where the magic of the Lean Startup comes into play. The Build Measure Learn Feedback Loop. This concept revolutionizes how startups approach product development and innovation. Instead of spending months or even years building a product in isolation, the Lean Startup advocates for building the smallest, most testable version of your idea. The Minimum Viable Product, MVP. Once your MVP is in the hands of your target audience, you measure how it performs. You gather data on user interactions, feedback, and outcomes. This data-driven approach replaces guesswork with concrete insights. And then comes the learn phase. You analyze the data, and most importantly, you learn from it. What's working? What's not? What needs improvement? This feedback loop guides your next steps, whether it's refining your MVP or pivoting your strategy. By continuously iterating through this process, you're not only building a better product, but you're also staying aligned with your vision and mission. You're effectively steering your startup towards success. So in chapter two of The Lean Startup, we've explored the profound significance of defining a clear vision and mission for your startup. We've also unveiled the power of the Build Measure Learn Feedback Loop, a game changer in the world of innovation. Stay with us as we delve deeper into Eric Ria's wisdom unlocking the secrets of entrepreneurship. Chapter 3. Learn. In the world of entrepreneurship, data is the compass that guides your journey, and customer feedback is the north star that points the way. Chapter 3 of The Lean Startup is all about the art of learning from your audience. Imagine you're on a quest to create the perfect fitness app. 
The lean startup approach encourages you to gather data and insights from real users right from the start. You engage with your app's early adopters, asking them questions, observing their behavior, and listening to their suggestions. This direct interaction forms the foundation of your decision-making process. But it's not just about collecting any data. It's about collecting the right data. This leads us to the concept of actionable metrics versus vanity metrics. In the lean startup, actionable metrics are the lifeblood of progress. These are the metrics that directly inform your decisions and indicate the health of your startup. Going back to our fitness app example, an actionable metric might be the percentage of users who complete a workout routine, as this directly measures engagement and success. On the flip side, vanity metrics are the enticing yet often misleading numbers that can distract you from your real goals. These metrics may inflate your ego but provide little substance. For instance, the total number of app downloads might be a vanity metric. It sounds impressive, but it doesn't tell you whether users are genuinely benefiting from your app or if they're abandoning it after a single use. By focusing on actionable metrics, you gain valuable insights into what's working and what needs improvement. You make data-driven decisions that lead to a more refined product and a better understanding of your customers. So in Chapter 3 of The Lean Startup, we've explored the Lean Startup's approach to gathering data and learning from customer feedback. We've also dissected the critical distinction between actionable metrics and vanity metrics. Stay tuned as we uncover more gems of wisdom from Eric Rees, helping you navigate the entrepreneurial terrain with precision and insight. Chapter 4. Experiment. In the world of the Lean Startup, progress isn't just about making changes. It's about making informed changes. Chapter 4 delves into the art of experimentation, a cornerstone of innovation and growth. Imagine you're the owner of an e-commerce website and you want to increase the conversion rate for your product pages. Instead of making random changes and hoping for the best, you adopt a systematic approach. You start by formulating hypotheses and assumptions. For example, you might hypothesize that changing the color of your buy now button from blue to green will increase conversions. Now here's the crucial part. You don't implement this change across your entire website blindly. Instead, you design experiments to test these hypotheses in a controlled and measurable way. You might split your website's traffic into two groups. Half sees the blue button, and the other half sees the green button. By carefully measuring the results, you can determine if your hypothesis holds true. So in Chapter 4 of The Lean Startup, we've explored the methodology of running experiments to test hypotheses and assumptions. Stay with us as we continue to unlock the secrets of entrepreneurial excellence with Eric Rees. Chapter 5. Pivot or Persevere. In the unpredictable journey of entrepreneurship, the ability to recognize when to pivot and when to persevere can make or break your startup. Chapter 5 of The Lean Startup is your guide to making these critical decisions. Picture this. You've been working tirelessly on a mobile app that connects travelers with local tour guides. However, after months of development, user engagement remains disappointingly low. This is where the concept of pivot or persevere comes into play. Pivoting means changing your fundamental approach or strategy in response to what you've learned. Persevering means sticking to your current course despite setbacks. So when do you pivot? You pivot when the data and feedback clearly indicate that your current approach isn't working. It's a strategic shift, a redirection towards a more promising path. On the other hand, when do you persevere? You persevere when the data and feedback suggest that your current strategy has potential and the challenges you're facing are surmountable with adjustments. To illustrate, consider the story of Airbnb. In its early days, the founders faced a lack of interest in their original business concept, renting out air mattresses in their apartment. Instead of giving up, they analyzed the feedback and realized the real need was in helping people find accommodations in their homes. They pivoted, and today Airbnb is a global phenomenon. Now let's look at the example of Instagram. The photo sharing app initially faced competition from other similar apps. However, the team persevered, refining their user experience and adding features like filters that made the app stand out. Instagram eventually became a social media giant, proving that sometimes, perseverance pays off. The key takeaway here is that knowing when to pivot or persevere is a nuanced art. It requires a deep understanding of your data, a willingness to adapt, and the courage to stay the course when you believe in your vision. So as we conclude Chapter 5 of The Lean Startup, remember that the decision to pivot or persevere is a critical turning point in your entrepreneurial journey. 
Stay tuned as we continue to explore the wisdom of Eric Ries, empowering you to navigate the world of startups with confidence and clarity. Chapter 6. Lean Thinking Applied Lean thinking, as outlined in The Lean Startup, isn't just a philosophy for startups. It's a mindset that can revolutionize established companies as well. In this chapter, we'll explore how lean principles transcend the startup world and offer transformative insights. Imagine you're running a well-established manufacturing company. Your challenge is to optimize production processes, reduce waste, and increase efficiency. Lean thinking can be the answer. The core principles of lean, such as identifying value, eliminating waste, and continuous improvement, are as relevant to established companies as they are to startups. By applying lean principles, you can streamline operations, enhance product quality, and meet customer demands more effectively. Let's take a look at some real-world case studies of companies that have successfully embraced lean principles. Toyota, a pioneer in lean thinking, revolutionized the automotive industry with its Toyota production system by focusing on reducing waste, optimizing processes, and empowering employees to make continuous improvements. Toyota became a global leader in quality and efficiency. Amazon, the e-commerce giant, is another exemplary case. Amazon's customer-centric approach and relentless pursuit of efficiency align with lean thinking. Their commitment to reducing lead times and improving customer experiences has reshaped the retail landscape. Even healthcare organizations like Virginia Mason Medical Center have applied lean principles to improve patient care and reduce medical errors. By streamlining processes and engaging staff in problem solving, they've achieved remarkable results in a traditionally complex industry. These examples illustrate that lean thinking isn't confined to startups. It's a powerful tool that can transform the way established companies operate, innovate, and thrive in today's competitive environment. As we conclude Chapter 6, remember that lean thinking isn't limited by the size or age of your company. It's a versatile philosophy that empowers organizations to adapt, evolve, and excel. Stay tuned for more insights and practical applications from The Lean Startup by Eric Ries. Chapter 7. Innovate. Innovation is the lifeblood of progress, and Chapter 7 of The Lean Startup is all about cultivating a culture of continuous innovation. Imagine you're running a tech company, and one of your key products is experiencing a higher-than-expected user churn rate. Instead of accepting this as a setback, lean thinking encourages you to delve deeper and innovate. One powerful tool in your innovation toolkit is the five whys technique. When faced with a problem, you ask why five times to uncover the root cause. By peeling away layers of superficial answers, you get to the heart of the issue. For instance, you might ask, why are users churning? The answer might be, because they find the user interface confusing. You then ask, why is the user interface confusing? Continue this process until you identify the root cause which might be a lack of user testing during development. But innovation doesn't stop at root cause analysis. It thrives in a culture of experimentation, a culture that encourages taking risks, testing hypotheses, and learning from both successes and failures. In our tech company example, this means creating an environment where teams are empowered to experiment with new features, user interfaces, or marketing strategies. It's about encouraging calculated risks, where even failed experiments provide valuable lessons. Companies like Google are renowned for their culture of experimentation. They run thousands of A-B tests on their products, constantly seeking ways to improve user experiences and achieve better outcomes. By fostering a culture of experimentation, you not only drive innovation, but also adapt quickly to changing market conditions. It's a dynamic, forward-thinking approach that aligns perfectly with the principles of lean thinking. As we wrap up Chapter 7, remember that innovation is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing journey. The five whys technique and a culture of experimentation are your allies in this quest for continuous improvement. Stay tuned for more insights as we navigate the world of entrepreneurship with The Lean Startup by Eric Ries. Chapter 8, Conclusion As we conclude our journey through The Lean Startup by Eric Ries, it's time to distill the essence of this transformative book into key takeaways that busy professionals can apply to save time and enhance their lives. Start small and iterate. The journey to success begins with a single step. Start small, create a minimum viable product, and iterate based on data and feedback. This approach minimizes risk and accelerates progress. Define a clear vision and mission, like a captain charting a course, 
define a clear vision and mission for your startup or endeavor. It provides direction, alignment, and a sense of purpose. Learn from data and customer feedback. In the age of data, informed decisions reign supreme. Gather data, listen to your customers, and validate your assumptions. Learning from the real world is key to success. Experiment and pivot when necessary. Embrace experimentation as a path to innovation. When the data signals a need for change, be willing to pivot, adapt, and explore new possibilities. Embrace a culture of innovation. Innovation is not a one-time event, it's a mindset. Foster a culture of experimentation, where taking calculated risks and learning from both successes and failures are celebrated. To dive even deeper into the wisdom of the lean startup, we encourage you to read the book in its entirety. Click on our Amazon affiliate link in the video description to access the full book and explore its rich insights. In the world of entrepreneurship, time is a precious commodity. The Lean Startup equips you with the tools and mindset to make the most of your time while also achieving meaningful and impactful results. Thank you for joining us on this journey of knowledge and empowerment. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more book summaries and business insights. As you embark on your own entrepreneurial ventures and professional endeavors, remember the Lean Principles. Start small, learn continuously, innovate boldly, and embrace the journey of success. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep thriving.